CYC is a free channel that presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. everything. Welcome to another episode. Today's episode is about another saint. This saint's name is Saint Oneness. We hear about him a lot and we always hear our parents asking when we lose things to ask for the intercessions of Saint Oneness. But before I continue, let's talk about what the word intercession means. What does that mean when we ask intercession of saints? Intercession means that we're asking through prayers of the saints because they already have received the crown of, of either a martyrdom or whatever crown of glory God has given them. They are up there to share with us our prayers to God. It's like asking angels to pray for us also. So intercessions mean asking the prayers of. So when we say, we ask the intercessions of Saint Oneness. We're asking for the prayers of Saint Oneness. So let's begin with the story of Saint Oneness. Saint Oneness was a little boy with a Christian family and they were very happy. And Saint Oneness loved God so, so, so much and he really believed in him. And he went to church every day. He was a little boy just like you. And he went to church every day and he prayed and he would fast and he would read the Bible and he would help in the church and he would clean and he would be in the early morning to the liturgy. Do you go early morning in the liturgy? He was a very, very good boy. He loved the church and he loved everything about Christianity. So he grew up very strong in his faith. Also, at the time, he lived in Upper Egypt in Lhotsar and at the time, there was a lot of martyrs and he was a witness to these martyrs. Can you imagine watching people being suffering for the name of Jesus Christ in front of you? It's really scary. So he was very strong in his faith and he knew there was nothing to fear. And he loved God so, so much that he knew there was nothing wrong with suffering for the name of Jesus Christ. And he was strong and he even encouraged the Christians to do as they do. So also, as I was saying, at the time, in Upper Egypt, Lhotsar, when he heard about all these and was witnessing of all these martyrs, he had a vision. And he told him that you also, Saint Wenas, will be a martyr. He was very excited that he gets to be the martyr for Jesus Christ, our Lord. And he went to the bishop in Lhotsar and he told him about the vision because he's a little boy. He was about 12 years old at the time. And when he asked the bishop about this vision, he told him, he also told him that the vision told him to say to the bishop that his body should be sent back to Upper Egypt in Lhotsar in order for his body to be buried after his martyrdom. When the bishop had heard this, he did exactly as so. And on Saturday the 16th, in the month of Hatur of our Coptic Orthodox month, he was martyred under the emperor at the time in Upper Egypt, Lhotsar. And later, after a few years, they found his body and it was into the church in Lhotsar. But then his head was missing. After a few years, many people searched under and over and all over the world and they found his head under a fig tree. And they brought it back to his body and they and his, may his holy blessings be with us all, amen. So what can we learn from Saint Oneness? Saint Oneness had great faith in Jesus Christ and believed so much that if you believe in Jesus Christ, nothing can harm you and nothing bad will happen. We always have to believe and have strong faith that God will always protect us no matter what. So, we're going to read a Bible verse about faith. Let's open our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 11, 
verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So let's read this again. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So what do you think this means? Relating to the story of St. Oneness, we talked about faith. It says that we must seek faith and God will reward us through our faith, through our hope, and we know that he is great and he's all awesome and all powerful, the Pantocrator. He's going to take care of us. He's going to put us in his hands and make and protect us. If we have faith in this, he will reward us, just like he rewarded Saint Oneness with the crown of martyrdom. And this is the conclusion of today's lesson, and we'll be back with a question. Welcome back to this episode about St. Oneness and today's question is about what is intercession of St. Oneness and why do we ask him for when we lose things? Again, the question is why is it we ask for intercessions of St. Oneness of lost things and what does intercession mean? Thank you and we'll catch you next time.